whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Yo, let me ask you, buddy. Buddy, do you believe in God? Yeah. You believe in God? Yeah. So let me ask you, did God uh, send Jesus to die for everybody? This is what I'm uh, trying to understand by reading the Bible. I don't believe in Jesus. Well, I believe in Jesus. I'm not a Christian. Okay, so you believe in God, but you don't believe in Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I said we street teaching and doing music to educate. All praise, I had this gift in second grade Where I stay, they upgraded the murder from catching fades Let's just say you niggas is weak in seven days Cause how a nation come kidnap you and make you slaves Then separate the children and parents, change their names No Damon Wayne's for generations was made to pain And we kill each other, but when it's done, we don't say a thing You niggas tripping, well in other words, y'all niggas Christian Worship white Jesus when scriptures give his description And shout out to my kindred that's really living was written Keeping laws that was given instead of willfully sinning. I love saying Christ coming back, cause it's with vengeance. All we gotta do is endure, like it's an entrance. Rehearse the righteous ex, who spiritually is a scrimmage. And that real game start when the missiles pass the defenses. Let's get it, I'm chilling. It's scary, but it's thrilling. Never trust the opposition, they come near me, then I'm peeling. Like, aren't you glad we no longer killing and drug dealing? But instead, we out here healing, no more filling up them prisons. We almost at the ending, and now I don't care who like me. It's sore strokes for them folks, cause they scared to fight me. And you in sin, cause you clutching on that hand tightly. Calling on the Lord, you get ignored like scam likely. Step to the set, you getting checked like a pair of Nikes. Sakari heavy, in these streets, you better tread lightly. And real Jews don't follow behind clone. We just waking up the dead in a valley of dry bones, all break. Now, all right, first and foremost, we want to give all glory and all reverence to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. We do so by Hashem Yahweh right? That's the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right, who are we? We are from the Sakari Philly set, right? Part of Sakari, Sakari Philly. We coming out, we coming out South Philly. We come out to teach His word, right? To wake our people up that are obviously in this dead state, right? right. We see them clear in this dead state, right? And we trying to turn right through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right? We're trying to turn our people from darkness into light, right? So read what right. you got. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8. Yeah. Now, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Right, we were sometimes drug dealers, right? They, I mean, that's not new to our people, man. Right, we moved packs, right? We had to move our own people, right? Our own people, right? We sometimes we did that, right? We did them things, come on. Walk as children of the light. Right, right. We used to make whores, thoughts out of our women. Then we charged to do what? Walk as children of light. Now we're charged to walk as children of the light, man. Right? It's no more, right, making enemies out of our brothers. Right, big bro? Right? No more enemies out of black and Hispanic, man. Right, right? They are our brethren. Come on. For the, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Right, uh, drop that. Let me get John. Let me get John 12 and 36. Right? Let me get John 12 and 36. Right? Still talk about this light, man. Right? The book of St. John, chapter 12 and verse 6. The book of, the book of John, chapter 12 and verse 6. No, uh, 36. Lock it. Lock it. Verse 36. Come on. While ye have light, believe in the light. Come on. That ye may be children of light. Right, that ye may be children of the light. Why? Yeah, how was I was saying this? Because he was saying the light is going to be with you for a short time. Talking about what? Himself. Right? And this word is going to be out here for a short period of time. Right? right. And then the Lord is going to cover this word up. Right? And guess what? It's not meant for all y'all. Right? Let me get Matthew. Let me get Matthew uh, 13 and uh, start at 10. Right? It ain't meant for everybody, man. Right? It's meant for those who's supposed to get the word. And that's all it's for, man. All God. praise to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? God. Some people is going to be blessed and some people is going to be left behind, right? Like the uh, show my uh, mom and uh, my aunt used to watch, right? Left behind, right? A lot of y'all niggas gonna get left in the dust, right? It ain't gonna be a so-called rapture, right? You're gonna get left in the dust talking about the nuclear missiles, right? Right, right come on. The book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 10. Yeah. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right, the disciples said, Hold on, why is you speaking to them, right, in parables, right? Why is you speaking to them in riddles, right? Some would say, come on. He answered and said unto them, 
Because it's because it is given unto you. No, it's given to your sister. Because it is given unto you. No, it's given unto your mom. Because it is given unto you. Right, it is given unto you, Simon Peter. Right, it's given unto you, John. Right, it's given unto you, uh, uh, well, uh, Bartholomew. Right, because Judas got cut off. You see that? Come on. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right, it is given to them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But to them it is not given. But to them it ain't given, man. Right, the Lord ain't dealing with everybody. Come on. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. Right. And he shall have more abundance. Right, to he who has, he shall be given even more. Right, because just like uh, we see uh, when you're given a talent, right, some people can have a talent, right, and then the Lord wants you to flip that talent. Right, so he said, to he that's given, right, to him that should have more. Come on. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he had. Right, even your own damn life, man. Right, and that's what we come to say, man. Let me get a uh, stay in Matthew. Let me get uh sixteen twenty-four. Right, the book of St. Matthew, chapter sixteen and verse twenty-four. Right, let's stay in Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter sixteen and verse twenty-four. Right. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself. Let me ask y'all, do y'all believe in the Bible? How y'all doing? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Okay, read again, bro. The book of Matthew, chapter 16, and verse 24. Huh? Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Right, so Yahweh Shai said, If any man will come after him, you have to deny yourself. <laughs> right, and this is in the time period, right, where we see where everybody is told to love themselves. Right, Esau? Right? Everybody should love themselves. Right, no, I'm saying to love yourself more than God. This is what you taught our people. Right, you told us to worry about individuality and not nationality. Right. right, right. This is why we don't care, right, where our roots come from. Why? Because the old heads tell us to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. Right? right. And you don't want us to know about where we've been. Right? Because where we've been was Jerusalem. Come on. Right. Right. And take up his cross and follow me. Right. And take his burden and do what? And follow me. Right. We have to follow the Messiah. Come on. For whosoever will save his life. Y'all lose it. Right, and a lot of y'all trying to save y'all life, man. Right, y'all think that y'all gonna wear vests, tech knives, right, have AR rifles. Right, read that part again. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Right, y'all gonna come to find out that a lot of y'all so-called protections ain't gonna be so-called protections right. the last day. All right. All right. Come on. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Yo, let me ask you, buddy. Buddy, do you believe in God? You believe yeah. in God? You huh. believe in God? Yeah. So let me ask you, did God uh, send Jesus to die for everybody? This is what I'm uh, trying to understand by reading the Bible. I don't believe in Jesus. Well, you... I believe in Jesus. I'm not a Christian. Okay, so you believe in God, but you don't believe in Jesus. Yeah, I'm Buddhist. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, Buddhist, right, so you're a white man who believe in East Indian, right, uh, beliefs. Yeah. Because you know that that's where they start from. I'm not white, I'm not Venezuelan. Oh, you're half Venezuelan? Oh, okay, yeah. what's up? My mom. Oh, your mom? Well, yeah, okay, what's your dad? He's white. Okay, so listen, let me uh, ask you this. Uh, if I take a seed and put it into the ground, could the seed be a uh, part, no matter where I plant it, uh, Canada, Spain, Mexico, if I take an apple seed and put it anywhere in the foundation of the earth, it's only going to, what's going to only spring out? See, apples. Yeah, no matter if the apple is green, Red, some apples be bigger than other apples. It's still always going to be based on the seed that goes inside of it. Right. So why does this society teach that you can be 50% of your mom, 20% of your aunt, 30% of your dad, all of these numbers, right? But nature itself tells us that we only are what our father is, right? right? When we actually look at yeah. right the earth, yeah, right? right? But you want to know why? Let me get uh, John. Let me get John ten and ten. This is why. This is this and and the person who you don't believe in told us why why we are lost right why we are lost read that the book of John chapter 10 and verse 10 come on the thief cometh not but for to steal and hold to up. kill hold up it said the thief cometh not right we all can steal on this earth right I can steal you can steal uh your homie can steal any of us can steal right, right. but it's saying the greatest thief on this earth who's the greatest thief on this earth the government the girl the government right so who's running the government what would you say would be his nationality or his race? Definitely not us. Definitely not us. Definitely not, not the people. A Caucasian. That's what you're saying. So he's not a people. Who? The ruler. The government. You said the government is is ruling the people, right? 
So yeah. is he is is the government mostly not set up by Caucasians? Mm. I mean, yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. right? Probably. So is, is so is it a maybe that is? It, do, you, do you think that black? Do you think do you think Mexicans is running this government? Let's go that way. Do you think Mexicans is running this government? Well, they run Mexico. Huh? They run Mexico. Do you think Mexicans <laughs> run Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're decreasing their border. The cartels run it. Don't you, know, don't you know that Mexico used to take up uh, parts of Texas and some of uh, California yeah, I know that. before colonizers came yeah. in and they shortened Mexico or yeah. what they would call the state of Mexico? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be recorded. I don't, I don't, I don't like Right. That. Well, look, well, look, well, look. It, it'd be on us, man. But look, let me uh, tell you this, man. Listen, you and your father is Satan. Right. right, that's what's going on. Read again from the top, man. The book of John, chapter ten and verse ten. Bring right, try to go, try try think he could slide by and get into the kingdom through his mom. Right, but that's not gonna happen, man. Right, his mom should have kept her legs closed until she met a, a, a strong and sturdy Israelite. Man. Right, right. Come on. The book of John, chapter ten and verse ten. Yeah. The thief cometh not, but for to steal. But for the what? For to steal. What does daddy do? For to steal. That's what the government did. Right, so he said the government is over the people, right? But the government is being ran by Esau. Right. Come on. And to kill. Come on, and to do what? And to kill. Who's the biggest murderer on this earth? Right? The Edomites, right? They know him better as the so-called white people. Come on. And to destroy. Come on, and to destroy. Who destroyed more people? Right? Native Americans, right? Blacks, Hispanics, right? And East India is gonna be underneath their feet just in a matter of time. Come on. I am come that they might have life. And that they might have it more abundant. Right, he is he uh 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 um is against Yahweh Shah, right? Because Yahweh Shah became so what? So that they all that, that they might have life. They said the whole world. That they might have life. That they might have life. Why? Talking about the people. Let me get Ezekiel real quick. Because it said that they might have life, right? Ezekiel 37, right? Right? Why do why does a people need life on this earth? Why? Because a people is dead. Right? A people will smoke a pack of cigarettes. Right? Even though the pack says it will cause you cancer. Right? Meaning that it will kill you. Right? That's a that's a sign of a destroyed people, man. Right? And that's why the power of the heavenly Father is allowing us to come out here and to tear down these strongholds. So what right. you got? Thirty-seven and one. The book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-seven and verse one. Come on. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and lo they were very dry right a brother by the name of Malcolm X right anybody can look this up Malcolm X spoke about a valley of the uh, of dry bones right talking about what his people Right? Israelites. So why was a Muslim reading the Bible? Why? Because you will not find no history of blacks and Hispanics in the Quran. Right? right. You have to go to the Bible to find your history. Right. That's what's going on. Come on. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? Right. And that's what the Most High God said. Can blacks and Hispanics live? Because guess what? How can, like, we obviously see blacks and Hispanics are alive. They're not actually all dead. But they are all dead. Right. Why? Because they don't care about living. This right. is why Meek Mill said that it's a blessing to make it to 25. Right? And nowhere in the Asian community will they uh, believe that it's a blessing Bring to it make out. it to 25. Right. Right. That's regular. Like, that's regular to make it to 25. But in our community, it's a damn blessing, right, for us, uh, for our little ones to see 25. Right? right? It's a damn shame, man. Right? Parents should be a damn shame by themselves, man. Right, you should actually keep your kids in the house until they're about 18 or 19, man. That's the only way they're going to be safe. Come on. And I answer, oh, Yahweh, oh, Lord, Yahweh, thou knowest. Right, oh, Lord, only you know. Only you know that if this people can live, if blacks and Hispanics can live, this is what the prophet said, because guess what? If I use my own eyes, it look like these people is finished. Right. But guess what? I can't lean on my own understanding. Right. So I'm going to lean on the Heavenly Father. Come on. Right. Again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones. Right, go out to the highways and byways and prophesy to your people these dry bones, these people that are in a dead state. Come on. And Come on. say unto them, Come on. Oh ye dry bones. Come on, oh ye dry bones. Come on. Hear the word of Yahweh. Come on. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto What's, these bones. What's going on, bro? You alright, bro? Let me ask you, bro. You uh
What's your nationality, bro? If I can ask you. Yeah, if I can uh, take a little bit of your time, that's all. <laughs> Colombian? Okay, bro, so what we coming out here, we trying to just t tell our people, though, that we need to bond back together, though. Right, you ever tapping into the Bible? Uh, no. You don't believe in the Bible? I do, but I have other beliefs, too. Okay, well, what's, you find something wrong with the Bible or something? Uh, I just, I have other things that I Okay, well, well, God, well, God needs you. You're a child of God, bro. And we got to turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity because these last days, and it's a lot of our people dying, right? A lot of blacks, Hispanics, Colombians, right? We are all dying at horrendous numbers. And we got to turn to the Lord because that's what we used to be as spiritual people. But now we start to rely on what? On drugs to get us through? We start to rely on our own physical might to get us through, right? We stop relying on the power that used to get us through. And guess what? He turned us back on us. Matter of fact, can I read you one of uh, just one scripture? I know you're going. I know you're going to turn. I'm not it. interested. I'm, thank you so much. All right, bro. Well, I I do love you though, bro. I just thank beg you. for you to turn to the Lord though, bro. All right. So, uh, so let me get that scripture anyway. Drop that. Uh, let me get um, let me get Jose. Jose, five and fifteen, man. This is what I was going to read to the brother. Cause this is what we got to do, man. We got to turn to the Lord, right? But a lot of times, y'all going to turn to the Lord at the last minute, man. Y'all going to turn to the Lord. Right when when it's too late, man. Right. Y'all gonna turn to the Lord when you're on your deathbed. Right. Right. And calling out right to the great power, right? And he's not gonna hear you. Right. Why? Because he spent out all day stretching his hand towards you and you didn't want to stretch your hand towards him. Right. Right. And and, and I don't know, bro, illness or sickness, right? Or you know, illness saying uh his sin, right? I don't know what sin he in, but you know, it kind of sounds like Simon. Right? Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I don't want to bear that on there, brother. So reach you got 5 and 15. The book of Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. Now, I will go and return to my place. Right, so the Most High God said he's going to go and return to his place. Come on. Till they acknowledge their offense. And right, and y'all black saying Spanish have offended the Heavenly Father. Right, and he sent his prophets out here, right, to warn y'all of the coming destruction that's going to happen to y'all kids and to y'all if y'all don't turn to him in fear and sincerity. Come on. And seek my faith. And do what? And seek my faith. That's what y'all have to do. Blacks and Hispanics, y'all have to seek the Lord's face, right? And it's all a game, right, until when it's your brother that's on the news, right? right? It's all a game, right? Do you believe in the Bible? Right. Damn, Albert Einstein, come on. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In their what? In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right, when y'all losing mom, right, when y'all losing auntie, right, and then y'all want to seek God. Right, and then y'all wonder, where are you at, God? Where he been where the same spot he always been. Right, what's going on, my man? You believe in God? Yes, sir. Just teaching the word, man. Let me ask you though, did Jesus come and save everybody? <laughs> no. Right, he didn't, right? You see right. that? All I'll crazy, man. See that? That'll save, man. Right, so we got that, man. We got that right on camera. So he did not come to save everybody, right? He come to save one people and one people alone. Right? And that people is very dear to him, man. Right, that people is very dear to him. Matter of fact, uh, let me uh go to that. Let me um, let me get that two and eight, Zechariah, right? Zechariah, two and eight, Zechariah, the book of Zechariah, chapter two and verse eight. Right, this people is very dear and near to him. Right, right, and people then put their hands right on precious jewels of the Lord. Right, they assaulted the heavenly Father's right joy, man. Right. The Lord said that we are his resting stool, man. Why? Because when we are in rulership, this world's being ran right. So he can be, he can, he can chill. You know what I mean? Like he can chill because his world's ran right. Because when we're in power, come on. The book of Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8. Come on. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations with spoil. Come on. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Right. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye, man, right? And we are the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye, right? right. right? So, uh, matter of fact, uh, let me get this. Let me get uh, Psalms. Ooh, what's that? Uh, 17 and 18. That's it. 18 and 17. Uh, 17, 18? 18 and 17. Oh, I got it. Reverse sloppy. The book of Psalms, chapter 18 and verse 17. Uh, I thought it was 17, 17 18. Yeah, or 17 no, 18. 
No, 17 and 8. So lock it. So 17 and 8. My fault. The book of Psalms said to 17 and verse 8. Come on. Keep me as the apple of the eye. The Most High God said, keep him as the apple of your eye. Meaning that this is what you should focus on. And when he says him, he's talking about his laws, statutes, and commandments. And that's what he told y'all to keep. Come on. Right. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Come on. From the wicked that oppress me. Come on. From my deadly enemies who can pass, who can pass me about. Right. We hoping that the Heavenly Father right, can protect us in these last and evil days, man. He said, right, keep him as the apple of, his, uh, of your eyes. Now, what is him? Uh, let me get uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 7 and 1. Right? Proverbs 7 and 1. Right? Let's connect this preset real quick. Proverbs 7 and 1. Come on. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 1. Come on. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with me. Come on. Keep my commandments and live. Come on. Keep my commandments and what? And, and live. live. Right? Keep my commandments and live. A lot of blacks and Spanish wonder why they die at a horrific rate. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's an evil rate. That y'all die in, right? Because y'all don't love the Lord, right? So the Lord is taking that tender love and mercy, right? Having the angels protect you as a head of protection, right? He's taking that away, right? And he's leading y'all to the slaughter. Come on. And my law is the apple of thine eye. No, as your imagination. As the apple of my eye. of thine eye. Right. The laws of God is supposed to be the apple of your eye. Right. Not waiting to get off work and get high. Right. right. Some of y'all niggas can't wait to get off work. Y'all gotta do it at the damn job. Right. right? I mean, y'all gotta go go and, do, and get there. Before damn the job, after the job. Before, after yeah, the during job. the job. Right, yeah, you know I mean, like seeing kids go to school, and you know, we all was young, so you know, we all did uh, did things and whatnot. But damn, like niggas would just go and you know, salak it, but still be and go and get uh, on in school. But these little niggas, they gotta get high before school. Like I'm wondering how how bad is y'all problems at home? Let y'all feel that y'all gotta get high before y'all even walk into the damn building, man. <laughs> Right, like I mean, let me uh, let me get Peter's uh, the first Peter's two and eight. Right, let's talk about being sober, man. Right, damn, uh, uh, East Indian boy, charges is dub. I mean, <laughs> for the parking, man. Okay. Yeah. The book of First Peter, chapter two and verse eight. So, in the stone of stumbling. And a rock of offense. Oh, kind okay. of. That's talking about Yahweh Shah, but that's it's the other book of Peter. But no, read that from the top, though. It's cool. It's cool. The read book it. of Second Peter, chapter 2 and verse 8. More. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Right. A lot of y'all, Yahweh Shah is going to be a rock of offense. Why? Because he actually kept the law, steps, and commandments, and he commanded you to do so. Come on. Even to them which stumble at the word. Right. Even to them that stumble at the word. Right. A lot of y'all Christians. But y'all don't even read the word. Y'all y'all just take what y'all pastor give. As law, right? You know what I mean? And the pastor is not keeping no laws. Right. <laughs> Y'all take the tithes. Yep. Keeping the tithe. Oh, he's keeping the tithe law. But then if you check it out, then he's not even a Levite. Right. Right. A lot of these niggas, they just they just niggas. Right? They moving around in the nigga spirit. Right? You see that? Hey yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on, my man? What's funny over there? Something funny? Something funny? Uh you don't know. Uh <laughs> but that's on that, keep on on that. Being disobedient, Come on. whereunto also they were appointed. Being disobedient, that's the thing. Blacks and Spanish have been disobedient to the Heavenly Father. This one on my man. You sober? <laughs> that's the last, that's the last, that's the last thing that he's like, that's the last thing I would be, is sober, right? <laughs> I miss the man. Shalom, shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. Much love, bro. We got to do, we got to do, we got to stand for something right. Because if we don't stand for something right, man, we're going to fall for everything. Man. Right. I agree. Right. That's why we're coming out here, man. We're coming out here to educate and, and show some love to our community, man. Right. We shouldn't need uh, uh, Caucasians coming to our community, right, telling us how to live. Because they damn sure don't go to Chinatown and tell them how to live. Right. So our community should see faces that resemble the community. That, if it makes sense, if they should see faces that resemble the community, they come out to the community, man. Right? And, and let's, uh, let me get Matthew 20, 29. Because we're supposed to do this. Right? We're commanded to do this. Right? We ain't just doing this just because it's, this is just something that's cool to do. Right? <laughs> right? We're doing this because we're commanded to, man. The book of Matthew, chapter 22, and verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways 
and as many as he shall find bid to the marriage right and bid to the marriage right we have to bid our people to this glorious marriage right because we, guess what we're going to be bound back with our power right we're going to be bound back to the heavenly father right through Yahweh Shah, man. That's how we're going to be bound back. Come on. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. Both what? Both bad and good. Come on, both bad and good. We're not separating them, right? Because that's the Lord's job, right? He's going to use the angels to do. Come on. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Come on. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Right, y'all better keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Because they ain't talking about having a damn two-piece uh, tuxedo, <laughs> right, looking sharp. Come on. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a, a wedding garment? Why? Because the Bible says if a man if a man tries to get into heaven any other way, he is a thief. thief. Right, yeah, you know I mean, because it, there's no other way to get into heaven but through keeping the faith and the law, right? There's no other way. Come on. And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. And cast him into outer darkness, man. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of our people. They're going to get cast into outer darkness. Trying to get flued out, came up grooving all orange and all blue down. Never had five on it like Drew down, but your boy might have moved me a few pounds. Gave it all up in hopes of a new crown. I'm quoting Ezra and Luke now, debating is my only shootout. Credit scores, let's practice Hebrew down. Yeah. Uh, what you know about waking up from a whole lifetime of living savage? Right. Spirit on you till you go to the highways and byways and bend them to the marriage. Right, Turn back or otherwise perish. Right, you ain't always got a busted glass. Uh, but this here ain't for everybody. If you ain't with it, then get up the block. Crack your fucking head, leave a husky knot. We ain't all about love, nigga. You looking at ex gang members, ex convicts, and ex drug dealers. Yeah. Everything is a balance with us. When yeah. the teacher speaking, it's the silence with us. Cause yeah. we real soldiers for your Howard Child. Other false gods don't want no challenge with us. Nah. Islam and Christianity is the biggest drug. That's known as Jake. Right. Take heed before you OD and then bug out to a hopeless fate. The most high, he don't make mistakes. Uh -huh. We don't want to slice, we're going to take the cake. Yeah. We can't wait until the kingdom comes. You need reservations to get in them gates. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm on a block with some soldiers. I'm talking precept holders. We can game up like soldiers. 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 We moving wiser than cobras. Sicarius, Lakosha, Nosha. Or a I bet you gon' fold up.